Hello students, so the topic which I am going to discuss with you all today is the mechanism of monsoon or the theories which are related with the occurrence of monsoon. Okay, so according to the traditional belief that monsoon is caused due to the differential heating of land and sea. It as we can say like it's very similar to the occurrence of land breeze and sea breeze. Only difference is land breeze and sea breeze it is uh, present in a very small scale covering a small area whereas the monsoon it occurs over a large area covers a large area in a larger scale okay so here it is caused due to the differential heating of land and sea okay because one thing we need to know that land is opaque and water is transparent so land being opaque it quickly gets heated up and rapidly cools down also whereas the water being transparent it takes time to heat it up as well as it takes time to cool down also okay so during the summers the continental area or the land masses which receive the direct rays due to the apparent movement of the sun okay over the tropic of cancer the direct rays falls and hence a low pressure is created because of high temperature but the surrounding uh, like oceans or the water bodies which you see here the temperature is lower okay as a result high pressure is created so the wind will start blowing from the surrounding water bodies towards the land moisture laden winds and it brings rainfall or it causes monsoon now on the other hand during the winters when the sun shifts towards the tropic of capricorn okay the land quickly radiate back the heat as a result creating a high pressure zone and the water retains heat creating a low pressure zone as a result now here the reversal of wind the wind which once has entered the land masses now will withdraw or retreat from the land masses and goes back to the sea okay so in this way due to the differential heating of land and water the monsoon is caused now alone this theory was not enough to prove the origin of monsoon at a global scale so German meteorologist Floen come up with the another theory in which he claims that the origin of monsoon is because of the seasonal shift of the pressure belts and the wind belts which is under the influence of the shift of the vertical rays of the sun that is apparent movement of the sun so according to his theory the ITCZ okay now ITCZ means intertropical convergence zone now wherever the vertical rays of the sun will fall ITCZ forms in that particular latitude so here the it when the sun is over the equator itcz forms on the equator and the southeast and the northeast trade winds they come and collide in the itcz okay so the rainfall is caused in the equatorial areas but during the summer season the itcz will shift towards the north as you can see here in the diagram the itcz is shifting towards the tropic of cancer in the month of july okay so now the thing is that the low pressure which has already been formed over the indian landmass will become more intense because of the shifting of mm -hmm. itcz so the low pressure here is more intensified which will attract more amount of winds from the neighboring uh, water bodies now during the winter season what happens the itcz will shift towards the south because of the apparent movement of the sun because the winter the sun will be shining vertically over the tropic of capricorn now itcz will also shift towards the tropic of capricorn so replacing the high pressure with the uh, sorry replacing the low pressure with the high pressure system and the neighboring water bodies will be in low pressure now the winds will start blowing from that indian landmass towards the equator towards the uh, equator or the um, indian ocean water uh, near the water bodies okay so he claims that the influence of the vertical rays of the sun the seasonal shifts or the reversal of wind or the monsoon has occurred now according to the modern observers again these two theories were not enough to support the occurrence of monsoon so they came up with the another theory that is the jet stream theories okay now jet streams refers to the air present in the upper air levels uh, above than six kilometer from the earth's surface and they are very fast moving is so there are two types of jet streams one is easterly jet streams blows during the summer and it is warm winds 
and uh, westerly jet streams they blows in the winter season and it is cold winds okay so here what does the role of jet streams are there in the occurrence of monsoon let's see that now during the summer season the easterly jet streams blows from the eastern part of india okay and since it is a warm wind it will increase the temperature when flowing through the or blowing through the area okay now during the summer already the low pressure is developed over the northern plains of india due to the vertical rays of the sun and the shifting of itcz and when the easterly jet streams blows over this area the low pressure is more intensified due to the increase in temperature and in winter just oppose it the westerly jet streams which are cold wind when it blows from the western side of india already the high pressure which is formed which has formed over india due to the seasonal shift of the sun and uh, uh, the differential heating of land and sea also during the winter this higher pressure will get more intensified okay so what does the jet streams do is actually intensifying the pressure system which has formed over the northern plains of india and it helps in the occurrence or the seasonal reversal of the wind so the behavior of these jet streams are also very much responsible for the variation of time in the onset of monsoon okay so students we have seen three different theories differential heating of land and water shifting of itcz and the occurrence of jet streams all these three different theories plays a very important role in the mechanism of monsoon season in india